Wearing number 11, he's one forward, and uh, Abdullah Bundu, Bundu is the other forward. He's wearing number 34. There are three guards. It'll be Cameron Young, who's a senior. He's averaging 14.9 points a game, wearing number one. They are right, but we all know that they're, that's their quality of basketball. Connecticut's won national championships and whatnot. You look at the lineup for, ten, uh, for Temple, and they were huge compared to the Dragons. Yes, they were. All right, we will start play. The hands on the ball of point guard Rich Kelly. Kelly goes left. Dragons in man defense right now. They get it down on the block to Young. Cameron makes his way into the lane, turns, hooks it, misses. Mohika, good defense, and also there for the rebound. Kirk Lee to Alihan. Alihan, as you said, coming off his best effort as a Dragon so far. Looking to get it down on the block to him. Couldn't do it, so now to stretch. Hand off to Tremaine. Isabel still showing a little rust from his injury. Mohika, shot fake, steps, misses the shot, but Alihan there for the rebound, the put back over the basket, stretch there. Good effort by the Dragons. Keep it alive and continue to hold possession. Stretch off the left elbow, the handoff. 10 seconds on the shot clock. Good cutting move by Stretch, he gets the bucket and the foul. Nice feed by Kirk Lee inside. Austin had the guy on his hip. And he uh, attempt for a three-point play. Abdullah Bundu will get the foul. His first, the team's first stretch. Struggled the other evening from the free throw line. He's been hit or miss. He's had some really good games at the line and some not so much. The other day was not so much. Let's hope, although he missed that one, today is a better day. 2-0 Drexel. Washington put back by Bundu is good. Demir's pass almost tipped out of bounds. Isabel was there to retrieve it though. Sammy driving, turns, hooks. No, hung forever and finally Young comes away with it up to Isaiah Washington now to Cameron Young Young backing away now going into the three point area all the way to the right block hanging in the air he makes the bucket nice move there Austin Williams can get charged with the foul there so Bobcats looking for a three point play I don't know about you, Rob, but I, I like these Bobcat uniforms. Do a little you? different. They're not the Nike seems to have that look that everybody has. These are a little different. Well, Cameron Young knocks down the bucket. I'm, I'm the sure you were worried about that. Two. Well, you know, I didn't know we were doing fashion this early. Well, you're Mr. Fashion Guy. It sure isn't me, so. Sammy, the pass out to Tremaine. He's wide open, shoots it, in and out. What is it about the uniforms? Is it double stripe down the side? Uh, I think it's the yellow around the... The yellow trim up top. Yeah. Bundu. That's through the lane. Nice move there. Strong move. 7-0 run after the Dragons scored first. And Dragons in a hole. 7-2. Lee going to pull up from three. It's no good. Demir Ooh. undercut. That looked like it could have hurt. He, that could have been very easy to land the wrong way. So the foul goes against number 11, Alan Chiga. Dragons kind of got bailed out a little there. That was not a very good shot by Kirk there. Sammy driving the baseline. You know, you can say what you want about Sammy's game, whether you like it or you don't like it, but the effort has been really good this year. He's really, he's playing like you want a senior to play. Kelly. Foul going through the lane. They'll get that tag that one to Kirk Lee. Yeah, what I mean by that, obviously Sammy, he, he's a solid shooter, but you know, obviously like his percentage should be a little higher. But just the the effort he's had, I'd say, in the last half of the season we've had so far has been really good. He 
he really looks bought in and he's been a key player on this team. From the corner, Kelly, nice pass to Bundu. Drop that dime off behind his back. Well, Coach was saying, Coach Fortier was saying how the Dragons would have a little size advantage against, against the Bobcats, but the Bobcats are not letting that affect their game. They're going right inside. They've been in the lane in almost every possession. And I, I think that's probably a wise move because if you're looking at the Dragons on paper, you know not a whole lot of depth up front. right? Actually, not a whole lot of depth anywhere right now, but especially up front. When Austin Williams comes out of the game, the offense really has to be guard-oriented. Bundu checks out. Robinson checks in. Andrew Robinson, 6'6", 215 from Tacoma Park, Maryland. Now Austin Williams will check out, and Tyshawn Miles will enter the game for Drexel. Next free throw, Bundu makes them both. It's 9-4. Oh, you could top of the key. Down the side of the lane. Good cutting pass to Ty Miles. Ty cannot complete it, though. Got caught underneath the basket. Good pass by Sammy. Ty just couldn't finish it. Good moving without the ball by Ty. Look at that. Right around Ty Miles there. Rich and, Kelly. And more than around Ty Miles. Around the rest of the team before it got to Ty. Tremaine gets away with a travel. Yeah, he underneath. did. Looks like the only students are student athletes that are still around. Trey misses the first. There's a couple of backpackers. A couple of the regulars. No, I didn't see him. Yeah. That, that's, unfortunately, they can, it's a small enough group that they can be screened out. Tremaine's second one is good. And one thing about undergraduates, give them a chance to go, to go home, and they are running. Yeah, you can't blame them. It's time of year you run out of money, run out of food. <laughs> Spoken like you did it a number of times yourself. Robinson from deep, no good. Isabel with a rebound. Isabel averaging almost nine rebounds a game this year. Look at him drive, kick it out to Mojica. Sammy in the lane, no good. Ooh, oh, that, what was on the rim? That might have actually come down, but Alihan <laughs> Demira. Got a hand on it. Yeah, he grabbed the two ribs. You have to get a got to get a rack. Yeah. All right, it's Quinnipiac basketball as we return to action here. They have the lead, 11 to five. Rich, oh. Isabel falls down. The help comes from Miles though. Oh, I thought he got hit. Uh, Maybe he just like he was going to hit him. I don't know if he actually did. Yeah. Normally, the big guy moving coming that quickly across the lane gets tagged with it. There's another guy, Ty Sean Miles, has been playing really well lately. Now he's going to have limited minutes just because of how well Austin's playing. And the coach said he's definitely earned some more minutes on the floor. Sammy from two. It's good. That's that B.J. Johnson two right there. Remember how many of those he took just inside of the three-point <laughs> territory? We're over at LaSalle. Yeah, why not just stay back to six inches? Mm -hmm. Cameron tried to shake Sammy, couldn't. He gets to Robinson, Robinson. Bundu, baseline jumper, air ball. Shocked Isabel when it came down. From three, Ali Han banks it home. I was just going to say, when he took that, he looked like he, that one missed by a ton. And I guess it missed by so much it was good. <laughs> you got a shooter's touch there. Got a clean bounce off the glass. Kelly drives all the way around and past Kirk Lee. It'll be number two on Lee. I was just going to say the same thing. And I'll tell you what, Rich Kelly, in the early going, has just gone by the drag defenders. So now we have Jarvis Dulce in the game for the first time in about a week. And Kirk Lee is going to sit down. Now, coach mentioned the, I asked coach about Doles in the, in the Temple game, and he just, you know, didn't think he was physical enough to, to bang with the Temple Owls. 
Gives the ball into Young. Young driving, steps through two defenders. How about that? It looked like Tremaine Isabel there with that move. 13-10, Dragons down by three. Well, Tremaine's got to run the point now. In his first possession, takes it all the way to the hole, gets fouled. So Tremaine Isabel getting a foul against Alan Chiga. That's his second. Tremaine will go back to the line. He was one of one at the line earlier. Well, that's one of the things with Kirk getting two fouls and having a guy like Tremaine on the court at the same time. I mean, he's a, he's a point guard first. He, I mean, don't get me wrong. He likes to shoot, and he can score, definitely score. But he can get to the basket in a hurry. What does it mean to be a CAA student athlete? Look at this. Powerine is checking into the game now. And Austin's going to check back into the game as well for Tyshawn. But like we were saying, when, when Kirk goes out, it's not as devastating as it was last year in the sense that there's no other guards really to handle it. I mean, Isabel is more than capable of running this team if he needs to. I mean, obviously it's better to have both of the guys on the court. But... You know, the way he drives, he can open it up for Sammy and for Jarvis Doles. Yep. Just as well as Kirk. From the wing, the three, no good. Austin Williams, the rebound. They've zoned it up now. Stretch. Off that block. And bull his way in. Bad pass. Dragons get a break on that. Jarvis Dole's getting on the floor. That's an over and back. That totally is an over and back. I yeah, the, the referees are discussing it. It's definitely a backcourt. Yeah. Good hustle by Dole's. And he, he was able to find a guy. It's just that he was laying on the stripe when he did it. It's a turnover for Drexel. That, is, that has been one of the things that is sort of held the Dragons back this year, the turnover numbers. Yep. Now it looks like Drexel's going to go zone themselves. I'm trying to figure out what we're doing here. Let's see. Looks like a 2-3. Doles is really extending out to the wing. Robinson. Back to Robinson. Rigoni in the corner, no good. Taras lobs it, stolen by Bundu. Yeah, not a good pass there. Had nothing on it. The Dragons are a soft passing team early in the season. Yeah. That, that's not one you can... I know what his attempt was trying to lob it over, but it just didn't have any oomph on it. Rigoni, strong to the hole, misses. Doles comes away with it. Good aggressive board by Doles. Mm. Good rebound by Austin Williams there. Bails out Tremaine Isabel. It's probably, it's clearly not the best shot, but sometimes with Tremaine, you just feel like, like if that goes in, he might just have 20 in a row. <laughs> you know, <laughs> he, he's that type of player. Gonna stop the ball here. Long by Robinson. Bobcats really jacking it up from three today. Well. Coach says if it's up to them, they'll shoot about 30 of them today. Mojica, step back. Oh, and cheapy. Austin Williams is going to get the cheapy over the oh, back. Wow, that one hurts. That's one that's... Yeah, that's what we're hoping. Um, and it was Mitch Moreland, who I actually don't mind. Mm -hmm. I'm happy the Red Sox didn't get Eric Hosmer. I, I know he's good, but I didn't want to pay him all that money. Because he's going to come out of your pocket. Back to action here, Quinnipiac basketball. Isaiah Washington to Robinson. Nice Chris steal. Tremaine. You know he's looking to go coast to coast normally. This is probably a wise decision right there is a one on three. Let's see what the Dragons run here. 
Nice cross court pass. Doles from three, long. That is his shot. It is. From the corner, ooh, shooter's touch right there. Aaron Robinson. He had oh. fouled on a three. Yes, he did. Aaron Robinson giveth, and then he taketh away. You know, Aaron and Andrew are twins. In case you're like, hey, they look alike. And you want to know another little interesting fact. Their brother, Billy Edelin. Wait, four. Billy Edelin? Yes. The Syracuse? Yes. How about that? Billy Edelin was a really good player. Sammy for makes the first. For a short time with the Cuse. Got himself a chip there, as the kids would yes, say. Yes, he did. But he is Aaron and Andrew's brother. Next one. Good from Billy Sammy. Edlin played like he was 40. He had that back down move. Mm -hmm. And would wait and wait and it, and then go by you or he'd find somebody open. What a really good player. I had no idea I would have gone up and talked to these guys before. <laughs> I'm, I'm just no, you're not. <laughs> <laughs> Two for three from Sammy. 16-14, your score. Isaiah, around the screen into the lane. Good bounce pass to Bundu, who finishes. Very nice pass. You are right about that. Doles. To Isabel. Now not, Sammy. Not much in the middle with no Austin there. Oh. Ten seconds on the shot clock. Sammy gets into the lane, scoops it up, no good. Isaiah Washington gets the rebound. Keeping it around the outside of the zone. Now Washington pulls up, flat. Katadinas gets the rebound. Trey spins in the lane, finger roll good. That's that spin move that he does about as well as anyone I've seen this year. Yep, he's, he is definitely good at that. That's, we haven't seen much of that in our years here. Guys being able to move like that. Rigoni from three, no, long rebound. Dragons have a chance to tie for the first time in quite some time. Or go ahead. Demir, rebound put back by Mojica. There you go, the tie. And the timeout. Next him, like against Temple, is how he talks the whole time to the refs. You could really hear what he's saying. Young. And not in a bad way, you know, just kind of explain, like, you know, he's hooking you with that arm every time through, you know, stuff like that. Rigoni tried to drive past Isabel. Instead, it's stolen. It goes coast to coast. This feels like it could be one of those... Isabel stretches. You know, you've already, he doesn't have a ton of points yet. He's only got seven, but you just feel like he, he's starting to take over the game a little. He's starting to engage defensively a little bit, returning that fumble there. Yep. Oh, he had it again, but it's a kick. Oh. He's had his hands on everything. I gotta say. I didn't swear. I was like, who's in a bunch of languages? I'm like, the, 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 the Dunleavy family resemblance is strong. <laughs> You know, it's funny, I've, obviously you know Baker Dunleavy's here. And you know, we were talking about him this week, and then you look up and you're like, well, that's Mike Dunleavy's kid. Yeah, no kidding. Yeah, really? you know, I knew that, but it didn't really hit until you see him, <laughs> it actually looks like him. Aaron Robinson from deep, it's good. Three point bucket. Robinson's feeling it a little. He's got both of their three pointers. He was 5 of 15 from 3 coming into the game. Tremaine from the elbow. Not how you draw it up, but they'll take the result. But again, you look down and you're like, oh, geez, Isabel, 9 points, 4 boards, 2 assists. And when did that happen? Like all of a sudden, it just... They pile up quickly. Long. And what I, I think everybody's going to like about it, too, it's within the offense right now. It's not like he's going crazy on his own. 
until he <laughs> shoots up there and goes crazy <laughs> on his own. <laughs> but, but like I was saying, he was right in the offense all that time. You know, but he was feeling it there. I'm sure Coach is okay with that shot, the way he's been shooting. And Kirk Lee, he's got two personals. He's at the table again. Aaron Robinson to Cameron Young. That was funny. <laughs> Robinson from well beyond the arc. No good. Tyshawn Miles goes up high to get it. And here comes Mojica. Doles from three steps into one. Good looking shot right there from Jarvis Doles. Caught it right in rhythm too. Nice pass. Nice pass from Sammy to hit him right in the hands. Kelly, all the way around and through. Up top for Cameron Young. Bounce pass. Boondu finishes once again above the rim. Yep. Some pretty good ups there. Jarvis Dole. A whole lot of time. That day off is a, a prep day. Yeah, I, uh, I almost spaced it last night. I was... Boondu's free throw, good. And so he completes the three-point play. I was, was about to go out last night and realized, wait a minute, I gotta do my book before I do anything. Get ready for this contest between Drexel and Quinnipiac. Kirk Lee back into the game. Sitting down for a good chunk of this first half with two personals. Isabel pass was too low. Not, but a, not a terrible pass, but you gotta know your personnel a little on ties. You can't bend over to get no, that. That's not, he's not Rob Gronkowski right there. Can't snag one off the turf. And that game went in drive. We'll be back to all things Patriots in just a moment. I'm hoping JJ is listening to this when, he, when they look. 